Good afternoon, everyone. It's your girl, Chloe Yasmin, with my little fashionable sunglasses that one of my subscribers sent me. Speaking of that, I have to go to my P.O. box today. I have a little bit of stuff to do. Like I said, I'm on this little no money spending thing, so I need to start spending, not no money spending, but less money spending, girl. The less money I can spend, the better. But I'm at Target right now, speaking of no spending. I'm at Target right now. Last night, I made a late night Target trip out here by myself. Yes, ma'am. Last summer, girl, my anxiety had went down so much because I was watching this show the other day and this lady straight up said like girl if you are always in your comfort zone you are never gonna grow you are never gonna be who you need to be so last summer I pushed myself out there I was making road trips by myself I was doing all kind of stuff by myself so my mom has been more busy Jordan has a new job which is hours are absolutely crazy so I really don't have anybody that I'm gonna be with like that so I'm sucking it up getting rid of all these things anxiety and shyness and I'm coming out by myself I lost my train of thought girl I'm outside of Target I came out here last night on a late night shopping thing to buy all new decorations for my bathroom because I'm so tired of how my bathroom looks and I want this new look to my bathroom so I got everything okay girl I thought I had everything I forgot to get a trash can so I'm coming in here and when I say I'm only getting one thing, baby, I'm getting one thing. Then, the other day, I had some KFC, uh, I had a KFC chicken sandwich combo, and it was really good. It's not, a, it's not as good as Popeye's, but girl, it was good. So, I'm lightheaded, I'm not feeling so good. Why am I drinking on an energy drink, you may say? When I ain't had no food, girl, I don't know. But, my little plan right now, Target, KFC, I need to go to my dang P.O. box. And I also need to pick up my dang prescription. Fold some clothes, do my bathroom. Let me stop rambling. Girl, let's get into it. I love these sunglasses. They are so cute. Oh my gosh, girl. Thank you so much for everybody that be sending me cute little stuff in my P.O. box. I'm so grateful because y'all hooked your girl up. Not a lot of sunglasses look good on my little face because I feel like I have like a little odd shaped face. No, I really don't feel like that, but sometimes I feel like that. We are our biggest critic for real. It's just, it's so terrible and toxic, but girl, let's get in here, grab this one trash can and get to getting some food. Okay. Okay, girl, now one second because if you guys watched my recent vlog, then you know that I picked up like the little yellow uh, versions of these little shorts and they have my size in the brown ones i said i was just about to get one thing that dang little trash can look at me look at me it's something about target y'all it is something about target it's like your eyes cannot stay forward they got so many cute colorful things now look at me and they got little rips in them the yellow ones did not have that so these are so cute and then i was eyeing this shirt because i bought this one the other day i was eyeing this one but it's just not it's not cut the same like it's not as long and it's just not as cute but this was so cute with the yellow shorts that i bought it really did go together so well okay so i'm literally about to go ahead and head out i'm not about to look no other way because i also got this shirt it is just something about target you go in there for one thing i have jordan over here on facetime that was him muting himself <laughs> but i'm trying to have him help me with what trash can i should get but i'm just gonna go ahead and go for the all black you guys don't really know the theme of the bathroom until i get home and show you guys all the decorations i got this super cute little um black top and then those shorts i got three things now let me get my little butt up out of here because this is getting toxic yes ma'am that was the fastest target run i have ever made in my whole entire life and it was noise girl yes ma'am girl my face is so dang oily right now i was trying to tell y'all earlier i was blow drying my hair this morning and my dang face is so oily because i was sweating and sweating and sweating anytime your girl gets hot my face gets oily and everything every little bitty bump on my face is greased and shining oh my goodness he is so cute oh my goodness that little boy is too cute they got this little boy in his little plaid with his little glasses on honey that little boy is sharp i haven't really done much today i wasn't really feeling it today i was telling my mom we need to go ahead and do like a group call like a group family call because girl i know i need my family my family motivates me just talking to them just seeing them smile just being able to laugh with my family it motivates me it just uplifts my spirits and you guys know with everything that's been going on lately i just haven't been feeling the best i just been having like this weird like gloomy dark feeling over my body and it just has not been feeling the best so with that being said i went ahead and had like a little group family call with my mom and my brothers and it was super it was super nice and uh, my mom was just basically talking about like girl you cannot not talking to me but she was talking to all of us and she was just saying like you know you really cannot go by how you're feeling you cannot let your feelings guide you basically you can't listen to how you're always feeling because girl you ain't gonna feel like wanting to work you ain't gonna feel like wanting to do your school or you ain't gonna feel like wanting to do anything but when you go by your feelings you're gonna stay stagnant for real you can't listen to your feelings because them is up and down, baby. So this morning, I didn't feel like doing nothing, girl. I wanted to sit in my bed all day and watch the TV, honey, eat my snacks, baby. That's what I want to do. But girl, I pushed myself up out of the bed. I got in the shower, even though I really didn't need to. I, my hair was already clean. I rewashed it and blow dried it to make myself feel a little bit better. My mama asked me if she could use my dry shampoo. So I went ahead and brought the dry shampoo over to her. And then I went ahead and bought another one because, girl, I'm addicted to the shampoo. This dry shampoo right here, baby. Is this the entrance? Yeah, this is the entrance. Ooh, girl, whoa. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. 
Well, dang. What was I saying? So I went ahead and brought my favorite dry shampoo over to her house, girl, because I have a favorite dry shampoo. Y'all already know what it is, but I'm gonna talk about it again because I am addicted. The lady in Sephora was like, girl, this is so good. I'm like, girl, I know. Girl, I know what you looking at me like you crazy for. I don't know what you think you racing me to KFC for, baby. I ain't, I ain't gonna follow no food, honey. I ain't gonna follow no chicken wings. It ain't gonna happen, honey. So you can go ahead with that attitude. Anyway, girl, I'm gonna go ahead and order my dang KFC, girl. I'm so excited. So I went ahead and brought her that dry shampoo, and then I went ahead and bought me a new one, because, baby, this is the only dry shampoo that really keeps your hair smelling like you just washed it. This So De Janeiro dry shampoo from Sephora, girl, you have to get it. It is so amazing. It really keeps your hair smelling super strong and super good. I didn't buy it for, like, why people buy dry shampoos, because, girl, I'll just wash my hair, like... Come on, now, I ain't used no dry shampoo growing up. I always felt like it wasn't for my hair type. But I started to use it for the scent because people said it smelled so strong, like it was intoxicating, giving people headaches. And I'm like, girl, it really ain't that strong. It just literally makes my hair smell absolutely amazing. And it makes it so that I don't have to wash my hair like that. Jordan's hours have been extremely crazy, so I went ahead and FaceTime him because we have not been able to hang out at all. So, anyway, let me go ahead and order this food, girl. I'm just talking and talking. I love talking to y'all. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and have the spicy sandwich combo. Um... Hmm. With you guys have lemonade? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and have a lemonade. Okay. Anything else? Uh, just some ranch sauce, please. Seven ninety four. Remind me about the ranch at the window. Anything All right. Else? Uh, that's gonna be it. Thank you. Thank you. See you at the window. All righty. Some drive throughs be like crazy. I gotta whip my little car around here. And girl, I'm talking about getting the SUV. I really do want like a bigger car. I love my car though. My car is in perfect condition. It's a beautiful little car. I love. I love to have a running car, baby. I do want me a little Jeep, but I know Jeeps are like terrible cars. Especially the Wranglers and them, them the ones I really want or a Cherokee. But I love my little car. My mom took it in uh, the other day. My mom is so amazing. My mom takes my car in to get whatever needs to be done on it. She gets it clean. The inside is clean. The outside is shining and looking good. My mom be getting all of it done, baby. And the guy just kept telling her, like, this is an amazing car. This is a perfect car. Like, it's so perfect. It's in great condition. The year, the miles, everything. I was so blessed with this car, girl. I was so blessed with it. Um, okay, let me make this little turn. Okay, yeet, 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 yeet. All right. So I don't really need no new car, but there are a lot of benefits to me having a new car. Um, but it's all up to the Lord. I ain't gonna make no step that I know the Lord ain't behind. Cause baby, I gotta make that payment. And I sure ain't gonna be broke trying to keep up with the Joneses, honey. Cause no, for real. These sunglasses got me feeling like this. Who are you? You know who I am? Uh, whoa. I'm just, I'm just joking. <laughs> yes, girl, the shades is coming off. My face is so dang red. My face did not used to get red like this when I used to tan. Girl, I had my tan going, baby. My little pale self. I be getting red as a dang cherry tomato. But that tan that I have you looking like a shrubble prune. For real. For real. Y'all, I'm on a FaceTime with Jordan. So if y'all hear his little voice, his little squeaky, squeaky voice. That's him. That's him. Hey, it used to be that way. <laughs> I'm about to eat me some food. I feel bad eating this in front of you because, like, I don't like eating food in front of people. Because I be feeling bad. Except for, like, when I'm on camera. Because I'm just uh, like. I'm eating luxury, so you don't got to worry about me. What is that? You don't have to worry about me. That's what is that? Luxury. If you say so. That looks like a bunch of. Never mind. That looks so good, Jordan. I know it looks like Olive Garden. Ooh, the spoon of sleep! Mm. Mm. Oh my it gosh. It ain't going nowhere. Huh? It ain't going nowhere, really? Shut up. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. My face is like so red right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thumbnail. Girl, shut up. You know what's funny to me? Is I call you girl. When I talk to you, I talk to you like I'm talking to like a girl. When I talk to Jordan, I talk to him like this. Girl, that's what I'm talking about. G girl. I like that he doesn't get offended either. He don't be like, why you calling me girl? He just be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Cause you like, you like my home girl for real. Like you my home girl and homeboy in one for real. This sandwich is so good. I'm sorry. Like this might be a new addiction. Like seriously. <laughs> Jordan, it really is good. Like, I don't know what's going on. I said Popeye's was better. And it low-key is, but Popeye's gives me the worst heartburn. Popeye's makes me feel sick and it gives me heartburn every single time, but it's so good. But the heartburn that comes with it. When I ate this the other day, it did not give me heartburn. Plus, they fries is banging, so I don't know. And Popeyes, they, they employees, every single time I go there, they're rude as crap. They had me waiting so long. One time, they shorted us on a sandwich one time, y'all. And um, them ain't the type of sandwiches that you can short us on. Them are like $10, $11 sandwiches. You shorted me on a, on a what? Okay, you're crazy. I actually don't really know how much they are, but they're expensive, so. Mm. You just gonna eat it like that in front of me while I'm eating this? You said it was luxury. I understand. I'm gonna hang up, because I actually feel bad now. Oh. Oh, no, you're fine. I was just joking. I still don't like it. I was never, like, one of those kids that like to, like, be like a, mm, like, I have this thing you don't, like. Me either, because that's corny. It's like, ah! <laughs> mm. I'm just playing. I really do feel bad. Don't. Don't feel bad. Okay, then. This is fire. Like. 
Yes, sir. Uh, whoa. I'm the gang. I'm the... I did not mean to do that. What the heck was that? I meant to do. I couldn't tell you. I, I don't know. Did you forget? Shut up! <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo. I just got to the red light. I'm trying to quickly take off this dang coat, y'all. It is too hot. I put it back on so that I could go into my uh, P.O. box. I can go to my P.O. box. Girl, it's too hot to be having this dang coat on. No, ma'am. Y'all, I'm taking care of business. Yes, ma'am. I just got my prescription. And I went to my P.O. box, y'all. Oh, my gosh. You guys have been loading my P.O. box up. Like, you guys have seriously been hooking your girl up okay i'm so grateful so right now i'm not gonna go ahead and open all of those right now right now i need to go home and start folding these dang clothes it's the one thing that i truly am dreading today but i have to get it done so i'm about to go home i think i have like three or four bags of clothes that need to be folded and i have so much more laundry to do but i'm not gonna do it because not today at least because i got so much laundry done last night girl i'm just i'm no i cleaned my house last night I went to Target last night. I was doing heck of laundry last night. Girl, I'm, I'm tired. Okay, so what I'm about to go ahead and do is I'm about to go ahead and fold all of the clothes that I washed last night. And then I need to go ahead and get started on my bathroom. And then once it's time for me to go ahead and start settling down, I wanna go ahead and open up all the beautiful packages and beautiful letters that you guys have sent to me. I'm so grateful. That junk was so heavy. Am I the only one that gets like terrible anxiety when I have to drive next to semi trucks? Now it hasn't always been that way. Like I've always felt that way, but it hasn't always been how it is today. Not completely ran off the highway, but I have been ran off the highway to where like those little wake up things if you drive then you know on the side of the highway to wake you up if you're going off the highway they have those little bumps and your car will go girl i've been ran off a couple times by semi trucks that cannot see my car my car is not that tiny to the point where you cannot see my car but a lot of these truckers are on drugs and i hate to say it i ain't trying to throw shade if you're a truck driver if your parents are truck drivers not all of them are so with that being said i've had a couple truck drivers try to drive me off the dang road girl and it is so dangerous so it really scares me anytime i get next to a semi truck it just scares me so bad so i just be speeding i put my car in sports mode every single time and i speed past them or if i'm in the car with jordan he knows if you get close to that dang semi truck you better speed all the way past it he'll look at me and be like i'm going i'm going i'll be like thank you because i'm about to flip the heck out anyway huh, he's going to target right now to go ahead and pick himself up some airpods and he clocks in pretty soon so i told him you know if you have enough time after you pick up your airpods you can just stop by for a little while i'll just be folding some clothes decorating my bathroom so I, hopefully he can stop by but if not okay so your girl just got home you guys i don't know about y'all but am i the only one that lately i've been getting super high my body has been sweating like crazy i mean i hope i am the only one and if i am girl i do have a doctor's appointment coming up i have a new doctor new insurance new everything the lord is in the working business i actually have not really had any kind of like good insurance since my dad was alive because his job provided like a good little insurance or whatever so i ain't had good insurance in a minute you know coming from poverty coming from the struggle the only reason why we had good insurance was because of my dad's job if my dad wasn't a sheet metal worker or doing something that was good and provided some kind of insurance then we wouldn't have had no type of good insurance but jordan only has a certain amount of time before he has to be at work so i thought it would be perfect if i had somebody like live shooting me while i do this bathroom it is a total mess i'm about to go ahead and straighten everything up really quickly so that we can go ahead and start putting up all of these decorations i stopped by my mom's house and i grabbed her toolbox yes my mom like, whoa whoa girl stop talking so dang fast i got laundry to fold the other bag is in my room um i have my stuff from my p.o box i went and got a huge target bag and i brought that from my p.o box because girl it'd be so much stuff and right here i have more packages from my p.o box i'm so grateful you guys but my mom is so cute she gets pink everything so i went and borrowed her little toolbox yes ma'am now let me go ahead and share with you guys the theme of my bathroom because i have all of the decorations sat out in my dang uh kitchen my face is so oily looking so crazy right now because i've been sweating all day it's one of those days where i've just been like sweating like crazy so i really need to go ahead refill my water bottle back up so i can start drinking all my water because girl i already know i'm about to have to go on accutane 
and Accutane seriously dries the body out. So I'm about to have to start drinking a lot of water anyway, okay? Yes, ma'am, I got my house clean. It's looking good, yes, ma'am. Okay, let me show y'all my little decor that I wanna do because I'm so excited. So I'm back on my little bath. So I got a cute little bath tray. I got some white towels, a super cute shower curtain. Y'all see the vibe that I'm going for. You guys see what I'm talking about? I don't really know what it's called, but it's, I don't wanna say barnyard because it's really not. But it's just like that really rich, like, little theme. I don't know, but I really have always wanted a house with this kind of theme. Like, it's just so cute. So this is the trash can that I went ahead and got. But this is my theme, you guys. I am so, 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 so excited. I cannot wait to see what my bathroom looks like because compared to what I have in there right now, this is billionaire status. Okay, girl. I mean, don't get me wrong. I spent really good money on the stuff that I have in here right now, but I'm so tired of it. It's so basic. It definitely kept me, you know, satisfied for the time being, but girl, I'm about done with this junk. It's just basic to me now and I'm ready for something new. So I'm about to go ahead and clear off my dang sink, get everything out of here and get it looking so bomb. So let me go ahead and take everything down and then we're going to build it back up from the ground. Okay, girl, I'll be back. What you got going on in here? That's good. Hey, girl, how you doing? Hey, girl? Girl? Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Freaking hot in here, oh my goodness. Anyway, you can hear the echo. I'm getting everything out of here, you guys, so I can go ahead and start redecorating this dang bathroom. So everything has to come down except for like the products in the shower. I'm just gonna go ahead and put up the shower curtain. The only thing that I need to get in this bathroom that I know of right now, because as I put up all the decorations, I'll probably see other things that I want to get. Only thing is, this is silver still. I was in Target last night. I seen the black one, but I was like, girl, I'm coming out of too much money already. So I did not buy the black one, but I will go back to buy the black one. And then I also want to get like some cute, like fake eucalyptus or something to go around my shower head. But we'll get into that in another vlog. I need to go ahead and start getting everything out of this bathroom. Oh, look it. That must be the candle soot. So I have a big old clock that I'm hoping can replace this perfectly. I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything out here in my room, get everything out. All I'm gonna do is wipe down my sink and then sweep my floor. And then I should be good and I'm gonna start putting all the decorations in, but I just wanna get everything out. I'm not gonna use this anymore. I see the one in my guest, my guest bathroom was actually cracked in half. So I'll replace it with this one because this one's actually in perfect condition. What the heck is this? Oh, it is a little cup in my car. I was gonna throw it out. Yo, teacher, good to see you. My teacher. You didn't want to drink out of the water fountain. I drink purified, uh, what's it called? What is those, uh, water tower things? Anyway, I really hope the person that sent me this email does not take offense to this, but I'm sorry. I thought this was pretty wild. We gotta be careful with saying, just saying things. Somebody emailed me the other day. I didn't even give a response, honestly. They were not being rude at all, but I did not respond to it because I didn't know what to say. What the heck am I gonna say to this? Somebody emailed me the other day and said something along the lines of, I believe the Lord is telling me to tell you not to drink tap water anymore, drink purified water, and if you listen to the Lord, he will bless you. <laughs> so we're going to sit here and act like the Lord just put purified water <laughs> down here. Like, that's not... <laughs> and that's just a little example of the kind of emails that I get. That's really wild to me. I mean... Yeah. The Lord going to bless me if I stop drinking tap water for real? So the Lord going to bless me if I stop drinking tap water. Purify water to the moon. Watch me become a millionaire when I start drinking this purified. Life okay, doesn't so have to be perfect. Oh snap, I almost bust my head on that. Good. Okay, so my hair is growing, y'all. It's getting long. Be quiet, you don't know nothing. Look at the length. Look yeah, at okay. That. Look at my hang time. Okay. Mom, I need help. Seriously, my mom puts all my pictures up for me. I need help, seriously. I don't even know what I'm doing, oh my gosh. I just know where I want them to be. So, I want this picture. Exactly how I imagined it was, I want this picture right here. Yeah, about like right there. So that means that the nails have to go like right here. Ooh, Look how jake this is. That. Be careful with that. Don't it's, do that. Don't do that. Shut up. I'll tell me what to do ever again in your life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a master G. If you don't know about me, I get 
the breeze. Millions in my bank account. Yes, when sir. I was younger, I was a girl scout. Yes, sir. It's like, like I wasn't. I'm just talking crap. Ooh! Yeah, what the? What the? What the? What the? What the? Uh, oh, uh, oh, get down oh, with the get down. It, get down with the get down. What? I might be able to start on Sunday. Mm. Yeah. I mean, if you pay me enough. Pay me enough. Yeah. <laughs> if you pay me enough, I might be able to start on Sunday. They're closed on Sunday. No, they're not. I talked to the manager. He said I could come in on Sunday because I'm his Chick Fil A. But I talked to the store. He told manager. me I'm his number one with the lemonade, so I'm not worried about it. But I told, um, I was told by the store manager that they weren't. I talked to the CEO. Turn the camera off so I can abuse you. Super tender headed. I got time for this. I'm getting to the breeze. I'm super tender headed, so I don't like being hard with other people's hair. Yeah, I think I seen one of those twisted on the floor yesterday. Hmm? Yeah. Am I the only one? See, I went to some hood schools. So, every single day going out on recess, there was some type of fights. So, it would be braids, twists, all on the floor. Red twists, black twists, yellow twists, pink twists. That was dookie. What is this? Get away from me right now. I don't know. Get away from me. <laughs> I didn't do it tight enough. I'm getting all types of terrible angles. First of all, you're terrible anyway. You're how about you're like eight foot five and you're freaking not even helping me? I just said that you put it down. Okay, I think that's good. My mom always does this. Oh, to I... make sure if it's gonna fall. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was a TikTok thing and I want you to do the Michael Jackson. How you do it? I didn't want to do no blue face. Who is that? Who is blue face? If anybody like wants to hire me, I'm really a home decor specialist. What do you call those? Interior designers. I'm a home How decor specialist. Hi, my name's Chloe. I specialize in home interior design and choreographers. I wish my neighbors were home. It has a hook thingy. It has a hook thing. Hey, that's good. way fuller than that side. I got white towels. Yes, ma'am. Let's see how this goes. So I actually adjusted this little um, reef thingy because it was just not looking good how they wanted me to put it. It was just not it. So I went ahead and adjusted that. I also have my towels up. Yes, ma'am. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my toilet decor. That sounds so weird, but yeah, toilet decor. Toilet decor. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so. For today's um, toilet decor, I have this super cute little clock. Yes, so cute. Super cute. I don't really know how I want all of them to be adjusted yet, but that is one of the decorations. Yes, ma'am. I also have this super cute Karma Mom, Cardamom, and Vetiver and Metal Spray. I don't really know, but they're super cute. And they definitely go with my cute little theme. Yes, ma'am. And I have. <laughs> and then I have a super cute little plant that I don't really know if it's gonna go but it has to go somewhere because it matches that. But it, I feel like it would be cute here. Oh my gosh, look how cute. That's cute. <sighs> that way. That way's much better, you think so? Mm -hmm. You think that one or the other way? I like that way. Me I too. Like them there in the Me too, okay, okay, that is so perfect. That is so adorable. I did such a good job. Let me show them a little bit better. Good. I am so proud of myself. This is so cute. Yes, ma'am. Okay, girl, that's me. I picked out all of this stuff on myself. I'm so proud of myself. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay. Now I have my shower curtain, my shower liner, and my shower hooks. So I got the super cute basic black shower hooks. This bathroom's supposed to be so cute. I literally am so excited. And then I also have this over the door hanger hook rail thing for my towels and stuff like that. Man, we did not have no money back in the day. So these little shower curtain uh, thingies used to get so moldy at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And we really I couldn't. That. Yeah, we really couldn't replace them like that. I've always been creeped out by them because we did have so much mold at the bottom of ours and we were only able to like replace them like a little bit here and there. We just spray bleach on them. Look at that. 
It's so nice. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let, let me go ahead and start hurrying this junk up because you have to get to work soon. I have to start folding clothes. Yes, ma'am. So, white rugs. I'm to go ahead and put these down. I'm kind of mad that I got so much white stuff because I know that they're always gonna be looking dirty. So I'm always gonna have to wash them. I need to find some kind of um, black rugs, but I got this for my tissue paper because I feel like this will look super cute over there. Or like for my bath products, I feel like it will look super, super, super cute. So, let me put that over there in the corner. Does that not look cute? Like seriously, like I seriously did a good job. Like I, I literally pictured my bathroom in my head when I was at the store and I got all of this stuff and it's coming together so well. Black trash can, yes ma'am. Ooh, yes ma'am. Look at it in the mirror, it looks 10 times better then the other one these are actually my soap and lotion dispenser super cute you know what i didn't get hmm. i forgot to get was a um toothbrush holder these are my soap and lotion thingies where the heck am i gonna put my toothbrushes at this is so cute isn't it it is so adorable nice oh my goodness elegant. it's so perfect it's so perfect it really is i make sure i get this back safely to my mama because if there's one thing up in this mode that's missing or misplaced best believe i'm gonna have a missing head for the rest of my life <laughs> <laughs> what? I just bust my elbow. I didn't know that was your elbow. I thought that yep, was I bust my elbow. Yep, I yep, so I bust my elbow. Yep. Watch how perfect this turns out. This is so cute. I'm a genius. I did all of this. I feel like I should put this bath brush in there. <laughs> don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Just don't talk about it. Go grab my bath uh, uh, rack, okay? Yeah, cause I'm bossy since they want to say I'm bossy. How about this? Yeah. 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 Woo! What's doing? Get it! Mm -hmm. Ride the waves, dude. I'm just saying. <laughs> Imagine. That was dangerous. Quiet, dude. And this is my bath rack, you guys. It is so cute. I still have like this little uh, string on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the corner. It's so cute. I cannot wait to go ahead and take my bath with it. And then I have this little thing down here with my tissue in it. I'm about to go ahead and put my paper towel right there. And we are coming to the end of this bathroom haul, girl. I'm about to go ahead and turn on all those lights so y'all can see the full effect. All right, everyone. So this is the complete bathroom it is absolutely beautiful and your girl did an amazing job i have to give myself credit for this this is actually beautiful i need to actually redo my guest bathroom because this is topping it like nothing else you guys this is so cute i am so excited about this dang new bathroom that i have even though it's not a new bathroom it's just new decor but it feels like a new bathroom because i'm such a g and i really decorated it so nice oh my gosh this is so exciting, you guys. I have been doing a really good job with like being more patient in store. So last night I just went through everything, figured out what would look good. I put all of these together. I'm like, yes, these look so nice on top of my toilet. Put all these decorations together in my head. I'm so glad that I bought that. Something was telling me to go ahead and get it because I was not gonna get it and I did it and I did it and it's so cute. And I'm so proud of myself, y'all. It's so cute in here. Like I'm like, wow, girl. <laughs> my mom's gonna love this. I'm about to go ahead and FaceTime her, you guys. I'm so confident my bathroom is so beautiful. It looks so nice. Oh my gosh. And I need to start having on these lights more. I just don't really like super bright bathrooms. I really like dim type of lights, but I need to get like a cute little lamp in here. Maybe that would help. But let me go ahead and FaceTime my mom.
your girl just got done washing her face. Yes, ma'am. I got a little LED light on because my face is always super red after I, after I get done washing it and applying my products. I'm also going to go ahead and quickly go over everything that I received in my P.O. box. I am super grateful. It is a dang mess, y'all. So I'm thinking I should probably go over it like on my floor or I can just quickly go through it here. I noticed that a lot of times I will spend like a half an hour opening up the packages. So I've already opened up every letter in every single package. A lot of beautiful letters, a lot of beautiful gifts. And I'm just super excited to go ahead and get through these, but I don't want to bore you guys because every single time I edit my P.O. box openings it takes forever so I've already opened them we're gonna quickly go through it so the very first thing this will be linked down below because I'm a very 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 big fan of lavish butter she literally has one of my top favorite body scrubs actually my favorite body scrub I can't even say that I have a more favorite body scrub than this one this one literally has changed my skin texture this baby powder body scrub oh my gosh it's absolutely beautiful it's not abrasive it has one of the most prettiest baby powder scents recently she sent me the body butter and the body oil I do have yet to try it but the body mist she has dropped a baby powder body mist on her website i'm gonna go ahead and try it right now because it's something so easy to go ahead and try to spray it see how i like it yes ma'am all i know is i 100 10 out of 10 recommend the body scrub let's see oh yes girl oh yes ma'am okay i'm not gonna hold you so i know like a lot of people make at-home body sprays and stuff like that but anytime i've tried like an at-home body spray it always smells watery no nah. This is pretty strong. I cannot wait to work with that. I love working with products and figuring out what it works best with. And then she also sent me a vanilla bean um, body scrub. Some lip glosses that I received. I will go ahead and show you guys the business card. Let me see. Use this code for 10% off your next online order. Gloss 10. This right here is her business card. If you guys want to go ahead and take a screenshot of that. Here is the back of her business card. Absolutely adorable. Fruit Loops, strawberry, and cotton candy. Super adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys some body care products that I received. So I'm not the biggest fan of like anything like pumpkin spice or like anything baked good except for like vanilla. So I did receive some pumpkin pie filling body drip, which is like a body oil and then a matching body scrub. So I'm not the biggest fan of the scent, but let me tell you something, girl, Jordan's little sister is like the biggest fan of stuff like this. Like she's literally obsessed. Like when she smells this, she's literally going to be like, oh my gosh, she's going to be so excited. So I want to go ahead and give these to her, but here is her business card her website is down at the bottom honey luscious i believe dot com HoneyLusciousCollections.com. Next, I received some press-on nails from Beyond Beautiful Nails LLC. I didn't really get like a business card or anything of a store, but I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys the beautiful nails that I did receive from her. Thank you so much. These are like a mint green. You guys can't really uh, see. Like a no, they're like a mint green, mint blue type of look. They're super cute, super dazzled up. And then she sent two nail prep kits as well. Now here I actually have some more body hair, and this is by Saintly Naturals. Here is is her business card if it'll focus here is her business card and then right down there you can see that website and she sent me a unscented body butter along with a pink sugar body butter super fun super cute with a little spoon on the side of them the other one fell off as well as two amazing smelling body oils one in the scent pink sugar and one in the scent flower bomb they both smell super strong and super beautiful so go ahead and check her website out as well next i have some a lot of different goodies beautiful stuff from here it is right here here's her business card shop loco nicole super cute yes ma'am and then there's her website so i'm gonna go through it real fast i have a beautiful water bottle i love that design and i am so big into water bottles right now that it's literally perfect timing a coaster that's what it's called i believe that's what it's called i really hope it's called a coaster because that's what i believe it's called but the coaster says and it matches the shirt and the shirt is so beautiful Beautiful. chosen blessed forgiven redeemed i got a beautiful tie-dye mask i got some beautiful earrings girl she hooked me up i got a hand sanitizer holder what i love about these hand sanitizer holders that she sent me was that they do not have hand sanitizer in them because i love my pump hand sanitizers from bath and body works and i can just fill them up with that and it has like a little uh key lanyard thing so i can hook it onto my keys yes ma'am i love that i got a pen yes ma'am i got another sleeping mask and i believe that is everything wait a minute and all she sent me some socks as well wait a minute girl she got me some socks and they are so comfortable so basically i was sent this by one of my subscribers and she is a scentsy consultant so basically on her scentsy page she sells like hand soaps lotions body wash wax bars girl stuff like that sorry my led lashes went off it is what it is girl 
So, she sent me two different samples of the wax melts. And I, I'm just kind of shocked because I've never smelled wax melts like this. They really smell like some junk from Bath and Body Works or something. Like, they smell like stuff that I would want to put on my body. This Luna wax melt, oh my gosh. Can I have a perfume in this, please? That right there is her Scentsy page. And I looked it up. It's super cute. It's super fun, easy to find. Okay, now if I'm not mistaken, I believe I have actually received some merch from this company before. For this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. Only because on the card you can't really see it. But it's www.heirsofgod.com. They have beautiful Christian merch. Um, and this is super cute. It, it says, just pray. And I see that their theme is more like black and gold, which girl, I'm a fan of. Cause anything all black, I'm with. And then the little gold accent is so perfect and it looks so luxury. Her packaging is so super adorable. So thank you so much for that sweatshirt. I love it. Over here, I have a lot of bath bombs. I actually was not really able to pull up that Etsy shop but her Etsy shop is called Better Baths by Tasha from what I'm seeing here the only capital would be in her name Tasha but I just want to say thank you so much for all these beautiful bath bombs she sent my mom and I some bath bombs they're all in amazing scents so here we have vanilla ylang ylang there was a certain one that I smelled and I was like oh my gosh wait a minute another vanilla lemongrass it was the cedarwood and jasmine Lavender and gardenia. My goodness, these smell amazing. Another ylang ylang. And last but not least, another cedarwood and jasmine. Ooh, I think I got everything. So second to last is going to be this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gift that I got from Dorothy. So this is called the Mac Arthur Study Bible. I am so grateful for this. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Like this is some heavy duty stuff. Okay, girl. This is the Mac Arthur Study Bible. Now, girl, I didn't have some Bibles. And this one right here. This ain't no cheap Bible. This is a very high quality, beautiful Bible. I'm so grateful for it. Oh my goodness, and it's a study Bible. This is so exciting, you guys. I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, it just like, it's just like butter. Like it's just, it's that Bible. Okay, very excited. Thank you so much. And last but not least, I gotta give this one like a full view because this right here is absolutely beautiful and the quality of this, I'm like, girl, you are really doing your thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my Amazon storefront just because I love it. Like, and I'm so proud of you and it's such high quality and it's my style. Let me show y'all what I'm looking at right now because I got y'all just wait. Oh, honey, baby, look at this throw and it's white. I know my LED lights is making it look like it's colored, but look at this throw, y'all. Look at this throw throw this right here is so absolutely gorgeous and beautiful this right here is her amazon listing but i'm gonna go ahead and put this on my amazon storefront that is her instagram and this is the beautiful throw yes ma'am look at my little mess y'all I don't know about a little mess, but it's a mess, girl. And I had such a fun time. I was like a little kid in like a candy shop. It was like Christmas up in here. But I knew that if I recorded it, it was going to take a very, very, very long time. I'm so grateful, you guys. Like this. Oh, my gosh. Like I'm so excited. And then my bathroom just has me feeling like a whole brand new person. Like I did undo that light. But I'm going to really try to like have my my lights bright in here like i'm really gonna try like i think you guys know why i don't really like bright lights i feel like i've talked about it before on my channel but i my acne like i girl i'm not trying to be in a dang bright light all the dang time seeing every single scar and every single thing like even going into public bathrooms sometimes their mirrors are just like ugh, and it's just so bright and i just do not like really want to be like looking at my face like that like i know i'm a pretty girl but all this dang acne be irritating the crap out of me okay girl look at this like it's just super bright like this is a very pretty lighting it's a very pretty setting i just never had my lights super bright um because of my acne and just being able to see every little blemish on my dang face but i see the quality is a lot better girl but honestly even with my lights being super bright like this it still did not look like this with my other decorations it was still more like dark and dim it's about all this white like it's literally brightening it up because i still like sometimes occasionally twist all my light bulbs in um for like higher quality and like certain videos and like shower videos and stuff like that but girl this little white setting is really doing it and yes i went ahead and took my earrings out i'm gonna put it back in though Oof, i cannot stand folding laundry it really wasn't that bad it kind of flew by because jordan was here but girl i cannot stand doing laundry and i really need to be more positive about it i've spoken about it in the past but because like back in the day girl we could only do laundry once a month we would always go to the laundromat once a month because we had no washer and dryer we didn't have that much money to be able to go every single week or even every two weeks so we go once a month and we didn't have that many clothes so all of our clothes could only fit in one trash bag like each of us had one black trash bag and that's how all of our clothes would fit 
in one black trash bag. Wash them all, and you're gonna have to rewear them underwear, rewear them clothes over and over and over again until you're able to go to the laundromat the next month. And sometimes we didn't even have the money that month to be able to go. So, girl, this is a luxury to be able to do my dang laundry and be able to fold my clothes in the comfort of my own home. And I'm sitting up here getting too comfortable because that's something that us humans do. Very common, very common, but it's something that we have to nip in the bud ASAP as soon as we catch it. And we used to be so happy and so grateful when we got back with our clean bedding and our clean clothes. It just literally felt like Christmas every month when we were able to go and I'm so grateful. So it's all about seeing where you have came from because back in the day, it wasn't always like this. Just the little things. The Bible tells us to just be grateful for every little thing and walk around grateful, walk around happy. Look at things positively. Look at everything that you can be grateful for. Look at everything that the Lord has done. You feel me? You understand what I'm saying? Because once you have that mindset, it really changes your life. You walk around just like, girl, I got a car. I got a washer. It may not be the nicest, but I got one because I didn't always have one. Anyway, sis, with that being said, your girl needs to go ahead and head up out of here. I need to go ahead and put my dang hair up. I need to go ahead and head up out of here, get some work done. I love you guys. God bless you all. In the mighty powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Why did I just talk like that? You want to tell me? I mean, because if you don't know, how am I supposed to know? All right. God bless you all. In the mighty powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's time for you to go.